how we are going to do the workflow setup so for workflow setup there is a workflow role in the personal module so we need to create workflow role and workflow builder so first before creating it we need to set employees mail IDs because they need to receive the notification so for this employee I can give this outlook mail ID and for other employees I can give my personal mail address gmail and now we can create workflow role so workflow role will have one approver on one notifier so first we can create one approver so whatever the least manual punches it it need to be approved by this approver so once created we need to assign a user to this approver I will assign the user ID to because he is the manager or as what we created next we can create second role as notifier so notifier will receive the notification once the approve has been done so notifier we can assign both uh, user like uh, who is requester, requester and also the approver both we can assign for the notifier so both will get the notification Notifier, assign employee, we can assign both people. So now we can check notifier will have two people and approver will have one one user. So once you create a role, we can go to the builder. Now we can see we can make for department positions and for employees. So department you need to select the particular department which we are going to use. If there is a position, if the as per the position what we have created, we can select the position and we can use so here I am going to use right now employee so we can give the builder name I will create for the leave so for the employee ID one so if you are using for the leave purpose we need to enable leave if it is enable leave is not enabled the contact type will be for manual punches as you can see down manual logs training over time so if we enable the leave it will have leave schedules like annual leave sick leave casual leaves so now I'm, I'm going to use the sick leave option so how many days it can be valid for start date and end date you can mention here so as we create approval scope and not not be scope is mentioned here so in the workflow role we created approval not fair so approver role I can select the approver and the notifier role I can create the notifier select the notifier what we created on the workflow role so this approval scope, scope notification scope we can mention all so because the department it has two departments BMS department and IT department so BMS team will be department will be reporting to the IT department so I, I have selected all departments so if, if it is a single department we can mention only one departments so here if we mention one departments then no one will get the and the approval won't be getting any notification if you have mentioned one department because it has two department that's why we are mentioning all so everyone will get the notification and approval will get the request from the requester so once it's done we can confirm it now the role has been created now we can log in by time from another app, uh, browser so here we can see both admin login and self-service login so, so we need to use self-service login as employee so uh, use ID 1 and password 1234 what we have created in the personal module so log just login so this is the users login you can see user ID 1 Shyam mail id everything has been mentioned here so once done you can go to the attendance and we can mention the request which request we need to give so uh, the employee will request for the leave right now as per the workflow we have created so add 
the date so I am giving for tomorrow select time okay now pay code I will be giving sick, sick leave as per the work builder workflow builder we have created so if you have any attachment you can attach here attachment only JP, jpeg will be hot we can use only jpeg format so now we can see it's on the pending status it need to be approved by the manager. so it need to be approved by the manager it's still pending so we just log, log out this user id user so once the request has been made we will get the mail notifications in the mail id mail also so we can check the outlook so we got the request from mail it has been sent to for both approval and notification so apply time apply time still it is on bending status so we can go to the gmail personal mail id so we can see approval notification this is for the manager so we need to for he made for the sick leave we need to approve it the manager must approve it so it still is pending status so now we can go to the we can log out this user user id 1 and we can log in for the user id 2 the password is same 1234 so the the approval we need to check whether any approval has been come will we are getting any approval or not so we will go to the approval status and he will check so here you can see after the in the leave we have one request so still it was in pending pending so he need to approve it so he can select it and he can reject or either he can approve so we can approve it so if you want to give remarks thank you so now it has been approved So it has been approved. So now we will get the mail notification again after the approval. So even the manager has been approved, the comment source approved, even the user, the requester also will get the mail notification as approved. Right, approved. So this is the workflow setup. Even we can create multiple workflow roles in the same thing so now we have only two users so we create a one workflow so after this manager approval we can move it to HR approval so if there is any HR we can provide the we can create employees for the HR and we can create for the second workflow role so once this workflow role got completed once it got approved it will move to for the second role so we can keep we can create multiple workflow roles So first, if the role is this role has been done successfully, if you have created a second role, it will it will move to the status to the second role. So once the people in this workflow role approves, only then he can get the leave approved. So we can keep even create a multiple roles. Okay, this is the working condition for the workflow. Uh, so once the workflow is done even we can check in the approvals autonomous module leaves so whatever the approvals we has been approved it will be mentioned in the main login autonomous modules because this is the admin user login so admin user can check everything whatever the status of the approvals everything they can check Either if the if we are having a, if we are admin we can even approve it even without the manager's approval the admin login can approve it. So this is the working condition of the workflow. So other things like access control, payroll, visitor meeting, we will be having a second uh, video section in the bio time. So now we can close this.